Mr. Mutain killed 50 people to make Allah happy. Actually forced all of all to believe that Muslims are terrorists. Mr. Mutain, you are not Muslim because you killed 50 innocent people. But I am Muslim. I love every single people, regardless their religion, color, race, or sexual orientation. You are not Muslim because you killed 50 innocent people, but I am Muslim because I love American diversity. You are not Muslim because you killed 50 innocent people, but I am Muslim because I love gay people. You are not Muslim because you hate people who are not Muslim, but I am Muslim because I love people who believe in other religion, who believe in something else. In fact, I'm not only Muslim, I'm also a Hindu, a Buddha, a Christian, and a Jew. Every morning since September 11, in which my brother miraculously survived, I have woken in a fear of another nightmare on American soil. After Sandy Hook, I became afraid two sons, Isaac and Albert, would shot like 26 children. This 26 innocent children, this 26 innocent student life were taken away as they began their educational journey. On June 12, at a point in which I was no longer able to watch news on TV, my wife woke me very early in the morning to take me to Hotel Maria to celebrate Father's Day. But I have never been a fan of hotel, motel or club. I do not go to places like halls, the gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida. Instead, I took Isaac Limon College. Isaac often called four years old Einstein. We wanted to solve some math and physics problem prior to his interview with Limon College President Ricardo Fernandez. At the college entrance, the security officer, known to us from our many previous visit, stopped us and asked where we wanted to go. I uh, was surprised because this same person used to open the classrooms for Isaac to solve math and physics problem prior to his interview with the City College President Lisa Koiko. So I thought he wanted to know whose classroom needed to be open so that Isaac can solve some math and physics problem. But he stood and interrogated us. I reminded him that there was a banner in his, uh, my picture in it on Limon College campus. He insisted that the questions were mandatory. We complied. I also realized that there were some other uh, security officers staring at us from inside. When they started cutting down Isaac, I realized something should be deeply wrong. At the same moment, I saw on TV a man heavily armed with semi-automatic assault rifle shooting indiscriminately everyone in a packed nightclub. I saw this kind of thing before. On December 16, 2014, I saw terrorists killing school children in Peshawar, Pakistan. A year later, in 2015, I saw two brothers killing journalists of Charlie Hebdo. I was hoping that whoever that was wouldn't be a Muslim like I am. 
in a second i heard him saying allow what but the person the security officer who was charging Isaac asked me what is Allah Akbar mean I wanted to say but I did not Allah Akbar used to mean God is great nowadays it means I'm about to hijack planes to fly into Twin Tower I'm about to kill children of Kashwar High School I'm about to go to Charlie Hebdo to kill all journalists I'm about to kill 50 innocent people who are just enjoying life in Pauls. I said in my mind, Mr. Moutin killed 50 people to make Allah happy. Actually forced all the world to believe that Muslims are terrorists. You kill 50 innocent people in Pauls nightclub to make profit happy. You actually force whole world to believe that Muslims are terrorists. You killed 50 innocent people in the nightclub to kill American diversity. You actually force me to love, to appreciate American diversity even more. You force me to love false nightclub, made me love gay people. I saw him shooting. I said, Mr. Motin, you are not a Muslim. You are not even a human being. You are an animal. You are a disgusting bastard. You are not Muslim because you killed 15 innocent people. But I am Muslim. I love every single people, regardless their religion, color, race, or sexual orientation. You are not Muslim because you killed 15 innocent people. But I am Muslim. Because I love American diversity. You are not Muslim because you kill 15 innocent people, but I am Muslim because I love gay people. You are not Muslim because you hate people who are not Muslim, but I am Muslim because I love people who believe in other religion, who believe in something else. In fact, I'm not only Muslim, I'm also a Hindu, a Buddha, a Christian, and a Jew. On that day, we did not solve any math problem at Limon College. On our way back to home, I was wondering what lesson Mr. Martin wanted to give American people by killing so many innocent people. He would have tried to trick American people in believing that what he did actually represent Islam. It seemed like he fooled some Americans like Mr. Donald Trump. President Obama was right when he said 1.8 billion Muslims reject the notion of Islamic State. However, Islamic State is still claim that they represent the Islam. They do not. Now, the question is obvious. How can we prevent the terrorist, domestic terrorist attack like this in the future to stop people like Mr. Moutin to buy gun. There is must be something wrong with our law who is allow people like Mr. Moutin who already interviewed to buy FBI twice and is still allowed to buy gun. So there is something wrong in our law and we have to fix we have to fix our law and Congress must listen to President Hillary Clinton. I repeat, Congress must listen to President Hillary Clinton when she said, you cannot buy the gun if FBI suspect you, if FBI putting you on the list of possible terrorist connection without question being asked. We arrived home around 10 a.m. <laughs> My son, elder son Albert opened the door and everything started flooding back to me. As soon as he gave me a Father's Day gift card, I asked myself, would open the door for those 50 fathers who lost their sons in Paul's nightclub? Who would open the door for 50 fathers 
who lost their son in Paul's nightclub, who was celebrating my father's day, holding hands of Isaac and Albert in the backyard. A terrorist named Mr. Mutin forced these 50 fathers to go to a graveyard to celebrate their father's day. Years ago, when I was a student of NYU, I founded a body science lab at NYU. Uh, this is a campaign. I ask you to, I invite you to visit Body Science Lab, www.bodysciencelab.com and uh, please support us. Thank you.